On the entry for the 10th parliament before its dissolution are many are critical bills and the leadership at the building and construction industry is keen to see their sponsored bills are tackled. Currently, the Minister for Public Works is set to present to the floor of the House the National Construction Authority guidelines, and according to him, their adoption will be a big plus to the industry. We, 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 we are collapsing buildings, uh, we were not able, but now we have that framework in place. And uh, here we are really not just talking about uh, buildings, we are talking about all infrastructure development projects. Most of the time when laws come into this country, there's always the impression that they have come as punitive. But this one is to build capacity. You want a contractor who has the capacity and the competence. Actually, that is what NCA is supposed to be. Bring professionalism. On the same tempo, the ministry is keen to see a progressive policy for the sector is achieved. We are talking about uh, coordination, approval of projects, for example. They will, be, uh, will, will now adopt a policy on how these projects will be, will, will, will be approved. At the moment, it's a hazard. And to complement all these legislative frameworks, the Build Environment Bill will go a long way in ensuring that the reforms in the industry are consolidated. After we have handed over the building to the user, there is no regulatory framework or now that building is going to be maintained and taken care of so that there are no accidents. So this bill has come into place so that um, owners of properties and buildings will be forced to do certain things to maintain the safety of the members of public who use buildings. So the, the minister who spoke at the Quantity Surveyors event also assured the Institute's members that their profession, which is fundamental in the industry, will be safeguarded and will be well refined with the repeal of Cap 5 to 5 of the Building and Construction Industry Act. I don't believe as an individual that you can actually design uh, then supervise and certify. You cannot do that. If you talked about corruption, then that's where corruption could take place. But I know there is a lot of resistance from the established the status quo normally. Those who are there and who have been doing what conservators or cost engineers are supposed to do, they could resist fearing that maybe somebody is coming to take their job. But what we can urge is that they are not taking their job, they are adding value. The IQSK chair couldn't agree more with the minister's intention as far as the separation of roles of different professions in the construction industry is concerned. Jojo Kachi, GBS News.